Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I'm back with part three of my wedding journal or wedding guest book in junk journal style. So I wanted to show you my progress. We'll pause and then we'll come back to the next step after I implement the next thing. So let me show you. Um, I put this um, satiny type ribbon all the way around and that was going to be my spine. And then last night when I was putting away my um, fountain pen ink things, I got a spot of black ink. Like, oh, kind of right in there somewhere. Uh, so I took a baby wipe and I tried to get it off and it came mostly off, but not enough. So I decided, okay, I'll just add this gold ribbon. And that's what I did. So what I want to do now is puncture about right here, a little hole in the spine. And I'm going to insert this Tim Holtz um, mini, uh, I forget what they call them, um, book spine holder or something very, you know, obvious like that. This will then poke through that hole. So what we'll be showing is this, just this little hook. And on that hook, I have made a tassel. I'll grab that. Um, where did I put it? Okay, here I am. I made this out of twisted fabric and ribbon and I bought these beads from Joanne Craft Store and just pinned them on with a little gold safety pin. My daughter really likes that. And instead of taking them all off and reattaching them, I just did it like this. So it's sort of put on in an asymmetrical way. In other words, um, this side is longer than this. And there's gold and a little touch of like a deep wine color. And then this corally type color is part of her overall wedding color scheme. This one I think is really beautiful. It's sort of a uh, translucent, uh, mm, I guess you would maybe call that more of an antique gold, but it's kind of got a almost like a reddish or coppery hue, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, that will tie on to the base of the spine and it just adds a little bling to the outside. So, so far, so good. It's coming along. In order though for these little brad pieces to not show on the inside, I'm going to put that through and then take a strip of this gold ribbon and just go from there to there and cover that up. Really then, the last step will be to puncture the few holes in the spine. There'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, or thereabouts. And in those three sets of holes, I will attach these three signatures. That's what they call these separate little booklets within a book. So these are the ones I'm going to use and I think that that setup I've decided on because it will fill the space. If I just do one booklet it's going to be here and it's going to all just kind of flop out and there's going to be these gaps on each end. So I thought a better look would be to put in three inserts sewn in on the three holes. I can show you that after I'm done and again I'll show you step by step because there's lots of videos showing how to do these kind of sewn in spines and I just really wanted to more take you along for the journey in a sort of retrospective way or a step by step way but not having you have to watch me do all these things you know and then if you mess up you know you stop you refilm and it gets tedious so I will be back after I've attached the little spine clip whatever that's called I should look up the name I don't remember but it's a Tim Holtz piece they come in like these more vintagey looking metals this looks sort of like a almost silvery I kind of prefer the brassy or coppery ones but this set only had that that's what came through Amazon and that's what I needed so We'll be back in a minute and I'll show you how that looks and then we'll go on from there. Okay, there we are. 
Doesn't that look neat? Kind of gives it a fun little uh, vintage -y flare. There's a lot of shiny, and that just adds a little touch of uh, non-shiny. <laughs> anyway, I like that though. I think that works really well. So as you can see, this little brad type attachment on the inside has these little prongs. I have cut those down a little bit before when I've done them where it came too close to the top, but I, um, I'm not going to worry about it this time because now I'm going to take a piece of gold ribbon and, well, at least from here to a little bit beyond that, just disguise that so it doesn't um, get in the way. And then what I'm going to do is puncture, like I just said, three sets of two holes in the spine and um, here we are. The way I usually do that is to take like some cardstock. I will make a um, sort of like a template that fits inside of this spine and I'm going to mark out my holes ahead of time and then also puncture them through with an awl like this. Um, I had a really big one from my uh, husband's tool chest. The awl was massive and it just made the holes too big in my album so I bought these little smaller crafty ones from um, Amazon come in a set of three but anyway one thing to look out for when you're doing your sets of holes to sew in the signatures is to make sure that I'm not getting this area where that's attached that makes me have to do the holes a little bit lower but I think um, I could probably do the top holes a little further down and I'll do a balance down here and then the center so it's okay that they're not at the very end actually and I've seen that a lot of people do it that way I have also sewn other junk journals like that and it's okay not to have it spaced way out you just don't want it so small that the top gets bent when you try to turn it um, Another thing to make sure you are doing is when you're puncturing the inserts, uh, so I'll use my template and then I'll have three uh, vertical rows of three dots. And then I'm gonna put, transfer those into here. So if I have my dots here, here, and here, I take my template and I puncture the holes into the signature and sew them in. What I've done before is what I'm trying to get at is I've maybe made the first hole too close to this edge and so the insert ended up being close on one end and not on the other. So since this is for a wedding, I need to be super careful to make sure that those are lined up so that the space from the top of the cover to the signature and the bottom to the signature are evenly distributed. Otherwise, I mean, it just gives it a nicer look. If it's a junk journal, you're just junk journaling in, it doesn't matter. But I, for this, want to make sure I'm aware of what I'm doing. I don't hurry through that process. I tend to get in a hurry and then I don't know, I mess things up. And also making sure that the front is the front and not upside down. There's nothing in these that distinguish the top from the bottom necessarily. But I'm going to make sure I don't do that. And why do I have this in there? Oh yeah, that's my template. Okay, don't want to sew that in. Anyway, so I will come back after I have this glued because I need to do that first before I puncture holes in it and that will need to dry. So I will glue the ribbon and then I'll put my three sets of two puncture holes in and then we'll come back and I will show you that step Then I will show you after I sew in the signatures. After that, it's going to be more or less a decorating process. Um, I'm looking for all my stuff. I just showed it to my daughter and I didn't put it away. But I have these word stickers around here somewhere. They're also, oh here we go. I found them. They're in my little craft bin. Uh, I don't know if you could see those, if there's too much of a glare or not. But things like um, 
genuine or smile or love. Beautiful day. This is my happy place found. Come what may. Lots of little sentimental um, or little sentiments. These are in gold here. There's also silver ones. But I think the gold will work better for this album. And then there's also these word stickers. So I'm going to add those kind of in random places on the pages. That'll be my finishing up step, though, to add some individual page embellishment, trying to control myself to not add too much, keep it simple enough. And then I will also put in pictures of her and her fiancé in random spots throughout here on those solid pages that aren't good for writing. So that's all for now, and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Let me show you what I did. I'm getting low battery mode showing up, so I will do this quickly, and then our last visit will be, well, second to last maybe. Anyway, will be after I sew the signatures in. So as you can see, I finished the ribbon. So I glued on the gold ribbon to cover up where those brads came through and just to finish that off. Then I cut this little paper template to fit in the spine and I marked where I wanted the three of three or three of three going down, whichever way you want to look at it. Basically they're evenly spaced from top to bottom and side to side. This to me is the most tedious part of doing a sewing in or sewn in a signature thing with a junk journal. And like I said, for her album, I want it to look pretty exact. So that's okay though. I got that figured out. But then when I'm transferring these markings whoa, to um, the spine here, here, and here, that's not showing up. I could show you on a lighter one. That would make more sense. I think those show, yeah. So I was careful to make sure that from top to bottom there was about a fourth of an inch or so, so that the book isn't situated like this, where it's at the very bottom. And then you have all that gap up at the top. I have done that before accidentally and was able to sort of disguise it by gluing on like something that's elevated, tabs or lace. But in this case, that wasn't really going to work. So those are marked, and I'm going to use a waxed linen thread to sew them in. And I bought some um, extra long like upholstery needles, I think. They're right here. I'll grab them. They're actually doll needles, so I guess if you make homemade dolls or something, you might use this for sewing in the eyes or attaching arms and legs or something, I guess. I don't know. There's another meaning to that. Anyway, the thing about these, they're long. They have a reasonably sized eye, so you can get thicker things in, uh, threads to sew in your signature. This is, like, way too big, so I, and so are, so is this one. You don't want a gigantic hole in the spine, so I usually pick probably the size or something like this, but I think with the linen thread I'm going to need that. So I'll set that aside and I'm going to just use, I think what they call the pamphlet, or pamphlet, however you like to pronounce that, method of sewing in the signatures. I think I've got it marked fairly well. And my daughter liked that because the linen kind of matches this creamier color. This is sort of creamy. A little bit lighter here, but still overall. And the cream, oh my gosh, I just flipped that around. I hope I didn't mess that up. They should be pretty much aligned. Um, same anyway. So that's at the top. And... I made sure the holes weren't going to interfere with this at all. And then that tassel will hang over that, but the stitching will show. So there'll be um, this wax linen thread kind of on there. But 
but it'll kind of blend in. So the other option I have too is if I want to add some gold beads as I do this and just add a little more creative or uh, visual interest, but probably I won't in this case. I have done that before. I've sewn buttons in, but um, here I don't think I want to do that because the tassel is going to be enough. And one thing that did happen is this hole got punctured over here, but the middle hole is here, so that will kind of come down at a little bit of an angle. But overall, I think that will work okay. So there we go. I'll see you once these are all sewn in, and then we'll just be down to decorating the pages. Well, I guess uh, we'll call that all for now, and the next video I'll have those sewn in and maybe the page is decorated too at that point. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful if you're interested in making something like that. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.